Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today let's see what is constellation and what are the difference between theme cosmos and constellation and how we can create a constellation application. What is the base of that respect to application? Before going to video, I want to share that I am available in TopMet now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview questions, whatever it is you can reach me personally in this top mid you can book a video meeting with me so that uh, i can have one to one chat with you guys so let's see what is constellation and we should be familiar with few of the terms while we start work with constellation so what is constellation actually so constellation is like a ongoing evolution of the pega infinity architecture which includes a new architecture new technology that is nothing but constellation. So what Pega wants is uh, they want to orchestrate Pega platform application logic in separate engine and uh, that application logic should work with any front end uh, design system. Okay, so whatever application logic that is built on Pega can be used by any user or like any client who have their own front end design system. So this particular constellation new architecture is a realization of constellation design system built with react.js as an open source front-end framework so what are the different terminologies we have to be familiar with one constellation design system it is nothing but front-end ux system for employee efficiency and productive workflows second one constellation architecture as i have said it's like a new ui architecture and modeling the experience that connects constellation components to backend APIs, okay. And what is constellation DX API? So if you miss anything, or if you want to know what is DX API and what is the like, what is UI key DX API and all, you can refer my old videos as well. So I have explained uh, all those there. And next, uh, Pega Engine is nothing but now business engine they started calling. And constellation DX API, it is nothing but a foundational modern driven APIs for cross channel experiences next what, what why what are the benefits of this constellation first configuration versus customization so low code as we know this is a low code platform so all UI elements are packed in javascript and next is user friendly js rendering so before going to the constellation you should be knowing the uh, basics of uh, javascript css and all so it would be very easy for you to explore more in constellation next we have decoupled the servers for UI code base from constellation Pegas decoupled the servers. So previously when you load a section example, it used to get from Pega database or something. So now they have uh, removed the dependency. So they brought up some concept called as content delivery network. So where actually uh, this uh, particular UI elements and everything will be stored over there. Next, less maintenance and smooth upgrade next pega database won't have javascript all javascript are in pega cdn which is nothing but content delivery network and uh, it's not like you should use only this particular content delivery network you can have your own content delivery networks that are available in the market so what are the differences between cosmos like, i mean theme cosmos and constellation first of all cosmos application is built on theme cosmos whereas constellation it is built on cosmos red uh, I will show you creating a new application with constellation and you can see what is the base uh, application for the constellation application when I have created it. Next section based uh, traditional UI in Cosmos and constellation it is entirely view based low code UI. So through DX API we can uh, actually capture all the values from front end and we can populate through Pega. Next if you have used Cosmos you can do changes app studio and dev studio whereas constellation you can configure views in app studio alone so dev studio usage will be reduced next cosmos it is like dx api version 1 used with sdks to render non-native pega ui whereas constellation this is second version of dx api used to render design and uh, major difference here also you can see in Cosmos you have uh, section plus HTML for UI. Whereas consideration it is entirely of JavaScript components and APIs for rendering UI. Next uh, terminal is content delivery network. As I have stated, content delivery network is nothing but a regional catchy 
uh, which gives worldwide fast content delivery and supports HTTP 1 and HTTP 2 protocols. And not only that, this particular uh, CDN contributes, like distributes static package compatible with all PEGA platform releases. Your environment specific the current uh, version automatically in every JavaScript request. And not only that, this particular uh, mm -hmm. constellation uh, that is static DCN, we can uh, specify in one dynamic system setting that is uh, like constellation pega static url dss so this dss you have to configure i have opened that so in this is our pega platform here you can see this is the dss constellation pega static url here you have to give the value of the your content delivery network so it's uh, no rule like you have to use only pegas content delivery network as i have said earlier so what is this constellation decision so suppose you are having an application, right? So whether you want to upgrade your application to constellation or not, or which one you want to create. Uh, so you have to decide whether you have to use constellation or not. Suppose you are building a new application. If yes, then go ahead. If no, use current AP, current UI. Suppose yes, you are building a or rebuilding a new application. Now you have to check whether you have any frameworks like uh, customer service or any framework that are compatible. If uh, you have that, then you have to see whether constellation is needed. If you don't have that, uh, like uh, it is not compatible, then go with traditional UI only. Suppose you have a framework, some customized framework or something and it is uh, compatible, then whether constellation is needed or not, you have to check whether uh, we can go ahead with Team Cosmos or not because it's uh, purely depend on the number of channels the respective application is used and uh, number of requests you get and uh, because it uh, includes a lot of effort as well. So then you will decide whether it's a UI cancellation or not. Next, this is the cancellation architecture diagram. Here you can see Pega UI services having static content and de developer CLI and this cosmos is uh, already in the system and we have a parallel alternate design system dx components and these are front bridge uh, front end bridges like react angular web components and constellation js so from infinity server to this client browser we would be using only rest dx apis okay and this uh, particular uh, infinity server right here we have sdks as well so uh, this static content uh, like CDN, this is nothing but customer user service, this is nothing but uh, CDN that I have mentioned. So have a look on this constellation architecture also, which is very useful for us to learn more about this constellation. And I would be showing how we can create an application uh, by, with a constellation and what are the rules that are get created when we select that. So example, uh, if you create a new application, you can see here build from scratch when you click on continue you can see it would be asking constellation or traditional ui uh, so if you select uh, constellation you have to give some uh, application name and uh, if you want to give some advanced configuration you can give otherwise you click on create application So this is a constellation application. Let's see what is the definition of this. Here you can see constellation as we have selected. It was uh, having a base of Cosmo React. So this is what I'm telling about, like constellation goes with this Cosmos React and you can see rule set given by Pega.
and even skin rule you can see it's pva and user skin rule as uh, you can see here application also is like cosmos react as is application of cosmos react thanks for watching this video i hope you like this content as it is free of course please share like comment and subscribe to my channel share your knowledge as well in comments